Hi guys, welcome to my channel. As you can tell, I'm working a little late because it's a little dark behind me. <laughs> so today I just want to talk about um, product photos. It's so important to have good product photos um, for your Etsy listings or even on your website. So you want to take a various, you know, 10 is a good amount. I think Etsy allows you 10 product photos. And I currently only have about five. <laughs> so that's not nearly enough in my opinion. So I wanted to work on doing some more photos. I did over the weekend um, for like my Christmas stockings that I sell on one of my Etsy stores. I got really, I did like close ups to the actual uh, fabric that I make them out of. And also the cuff so that people can see the lining on the inside and the um, satin loop on the side. So very important so people can actually get a feel about, you know, how your product is made and the materials that are used. So it's very hard to see from a distance. So I like to do close-ups and I'll put a couple examples here on the screen. And also I wanna do the product in use. I'm missing so many photos <laughs> with the product in use. I actually don't have any for my scrunchies. I don't have any for, I have, I think, well, the wrist totes, I have a couple, but for the Christmas stockings, I don't have them like hanging on mantles or anything like that. So what I'm doing is I'm actually bringing my mantle from my office. I'm dragging that into the in, the in the hallway because I do not have any plain walls without any windows. So I had to drag it into the hallway. So we'll see how that works. Um, and I had to get some props for that mantle because I just, I don't want it plain. So, um, and I don't really have the Christmas ornaments and stuff that I can put on it that make it look nice. So I need to get like garland and a few little um, stuff to put on top of the mantle. Anyway, so I had to go to Hobby Lobby for that. And I'll do that probably tomorrow. because <laughs> I think they're closed right now. But um, so I'll do that tomorrow and you can come with me on that. And then I'll actually start decorating the mantle so you can see what I do. And um, I guess we'll go from there. <laughs> So beautiful out. Listening to the birds. And I think we're at peak foliage. That's pretty cool. We're at almost peak.
this is what I scored today, guys, at Hobby Lobby. They had 50% off, and I bought um, some decorations for the top of my mantle. So I got all that for 50% off, and I got the garland, which has like kind of like a glitter tip, which I thought would look really cool with those. So I had to stay neutral because my stockings, which are over here, uh, these are samples that I have on my store right now. They're very colorful and I'm going to be doing like different colors, different patterns, different designs. So I want to kind of stay neutral. Uh, my mantle's white, so I figured the white, if you look at that like lamp shade, my mantle's white, so I figured it's a very neutral tone and I'll, the colors will stand out for the stockings. So yeah, I mean, just to see it all together. So I saw this on Pinterest. <laughs> so you basically put the ribbon through the ornaments at the top of the ball the ornaments. And that's what you can do for a wreath or garland, but it doesn't actually tell you how to do it. <laughs> so I tried everything. I tried the tapestry or tapestry needle. Um, it goes through the hole fine, but if you put like ribbon to it, it's too thick and it won't fit through the hole. So I was like, okay, well maybe, you know, at the end of a sneaker, you know, like the end of a shoelace of a sneaker, it, it has that little plastic thing. So I figured, hey, I'll do that and I'll put tape. I put the tape really tight. It still didn't go through. <laughs> so I found the solution finally. So if you do your ribbon like this and just leave like a, oops. You can see it like this. So if you leave a little bit of ribbon like that and then stick it through the hole here, I can do it on camera. There we go. So you grab it. Ugh. It's a little hard, but there you go. So you do that, it goes through. So if you're, if you see the same thing on Pinterest and you don't know how to fish ribbon through this, this is seven eighths of of an inch ribbon, which they tell you to use. Um, if I were to do this over again, I'd probably use like a little bit thinner ribbon, like maybe five eighths of an inch. But if you've got the seven eighths of an inch ribbon, <laughs> this is how you do it. Even the five eighths might be just as difficult. So I just wanted to give you that little that little tip for on how to do this. So there you go. Well guys, this is what I have so far. <laughs> I'm in my hallway right now. This is my electric fireplace from the office. So I have, as you can tell, it's in the um, hallway right now. And I'm not gonna see the ends, so I'm probably gonna be more like this with the stockings. Um, of course, I need better lighting, so I had to figure the lighting out, but not bad, not bad. Actually, this garland um, kept falling apart into like, little pieces like this that keep popping off. So the garland hasn't been cooperating, <laughs> but I'm not going to see the end here and I'm not going to see the end there. So I'm just going to focus like right here for pictures. So that should be kind of cool once I get the lighting right. Well, guys, what do you think? I think the decorations came out pretty good. I didn't take photos this close. I actually took the photos um, from a distance, kind of like right there. So, um, yeah, I think it came out pretty good. I mean, just to put them up on my Etsy listings and my website and I'll change up the stockings as well. Um, these are all the mermaid themed ones that I have. So yeah, that came out pretty cool. I'm actually happy. <laughs> so I hope you guys like that video. I'll see you guys next time.